Guy, quick turnaround, Port Vale on uh, Tuesday night. You've seen them fairly recently. What can we expect up there? No, it'll be a tough game for sure. I think uh, everybody knows by now you're always going to say it's a tough game because it is a tough league and it's, it's very close, both ends of the table. So we know we're going to a, a place where they're in a good position, a couple of games in hand on those above them and not far off a playoff, so they'll be determined to get a win. You weren't here uh, when they won 3-0 at Crawley back in uh, October, took their chances well that night. They've done well in their first season in League One, haven't they, since promotion? Yeah, very well. And I think those that, those that know the football know that uh, you know Mickey Adams has, has got a well-drilled side there and he's got them playing a style of football that's very aggressive, very attacking, uh, and they look to look to put you under pressure all the time. So we know it's going to be a difficult game. However, you know we can take confidence from our uh, performance up at Rotherham and know that we can play some decent football and create chances ourselves. I was going to say, it's not going to be any harder than it was on Saturday and, and when we really deserved three points, didn't we? Well, we'd like to think so, but uh, I think that's why we all love football so much. Those, uh, those you know, types of games can crop up where you, uh, you have chances to put the game to bed and you don't take them. So, you know, we've got to learn from that and be a little bit more ruthless. It's just turning those draws which we've had into uh, wins and then we could really shoot up the table, couldn't we? Yeah, I, I mean, I was looking at the, uh, the record uh, yesterday and, uh, you know, you, you know you're not far away when you draw so many games. It's a, it's a, it's a fine dividing line between... Uh, between success and and an also run, if you like, and and competing well, so we know we know it's there. We know we've got some decent players here that can create the chances. I mean, as I said, we need to be a bit more ruthless and also, you know, see off games. You know, I think, uh, you know, I know um, I know there was a little bit added added time, um, which was disappointing. But you know, those things crop up. Sometimes it works for you, i.e., the, the week before Coventry. Sometimes they work against you. That's why we love the game so much. But in terms of our attacking play, I thought on Saturday, particularly in the second half, we really created some really good, played some great football, didn't we? It was good to watch. No, it was good to watch. We've got good footballers here, intelligent footballers and, and fit footballers. And I think uh, when you've got that, it's, it's a pathway for success. And, uh, you know, we've been, been really encouraged by the performances we've had here. You know, I think I can remember probably one bad half here um, while I've been here. So that's encouraging that, that the players, um, you know, do keep going. Uh, do want to keep playing football and I think that's encouraging for the future. And for you, you've been here what nearly a couple of months now enjoying yourself and working with John and uh, how's it been? No, loving it. I think, um, you know, when you've been in football, you know, a lot of your life then all you want to be is around players and around staff that, that love the game and are passionate about it and that's what we've got here.